Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to help us generate basic leaflet JavaScript code. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So let's go to chatgpt.com and sign in. Now if you don't have an account, you can just simply click on sign up for free and you could create your account here. Once you're logged in, you'll notice that there's a text bar at the bottom of the page and you could click to submit your proposed question. We will use chat GPT to help us generate basic leaflet JavaScript code. So in my experience with this code, we want to keep it specific, but also really brief and we could always add to it. So let's start by saying, create a leaflet JavaScript map of, I'm just going to pick a random city, downtown San Francisco, California, with an open street map base map. Street map base map. Okay, so I could either click enter or click that button. And what ChatGPT is doing is it's explaining what the process of creating my request. So here are some basic code. And sure enough, it's, it's calling the title of my map, Leaflet Map of Downtown San Francisco. It has the CSS, has the JavaScript, the initial, it set up the initial view for San Francisco, so lat long and also a generic um, a zoom. And here are the credentials and for OpenStreetMap. So what I could simply do is copy the code and I'm gonna go over here to my Visual Studio code and I'm just gonna simply paste everything and run. And here we go. So uh, it's super powerful just to get that basic code um, to get started. So let's play with this um, on this initial request right here. You can either click and edit the message and add more content to it, or you could just simply add it right down here. It's smart enough to know it's, it's based off of this request. So for example, if I say change initial view to Dallas, Texas, it will explain the process here. It says that they're going to center on Dallas, Texas instead of San Francisco. It updated the, the coordinates right here. And let's go to copy that code. And I'll go back over to my Visual Studio. I'm going to select everything and delete. I will paste that new code. I'll go ahead and run. And sure enough, we're down here in Dallas, Texas. Okay, see, we want to add a marker to the code. And let's just add it down below. Let's say, um, Add a marker to downtown Dallas, Texas that says hello. Go and run that. It's tell me that we're going to use the L marker and bind pop up, and sure enough, it's right here. Let's go and copy that code. We'll go back to Visual, Visual Studio code. I'll select everything, delete it, and replace with the new code. And there it is. And we could even say we want to change the base map. Say change base map to Arial. Base map. 
Okay, so it's going to bring in the ESRI imagery layer. Looks like everything is done. So I copied the code. Going back to Visual Studio Code, I'm going to select everything, delete, and replace. And there is my Arial. So it's not going to be perfect. Um, an example is, say like I want to add a city boundary. It may, may or may not work for you, uh, if you if you start getting to a little more specific. So just play around with it. It's not a perfect system. Say I want to add a city of Dallas, Texas boundary in yellow. Yeah, just say that and just kind of look at my code. Stop my bind pop up there and it create a variable here for Dallas. Now this looks very basic. So again, it's not a perfect thing, but let's just, just check it out. So we copy the code, delete and replace and run. Yeah, so I mean, it, it got me something at least you know there is a yellow boundary and this is where you might have to be a little more specific um you know just playing around with the the request to chat gpt or you might just take it from here and see you know what the uh all the coordinates maybe you know that might be kind of crazy because that would be a lot maybe you already have the data file that you wanted to direct to so in this case you know the the boundary was a mistake i, I definitely don't want that so I could say is remove the Dallas boundary. And sure enough, it's removed. I copy that code. Paste that, run, and it's gone. So I hope you guys found that useful. As always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions on future videos. As always, I do greatly appreciate your support. And if you could always hit that like button and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.